daily fights, violence against teachers and administrators, and reports of weapons. All this happening inside York Memorial Collegiate Institute. According to staff members tonight, they're risking their jobs and speaking out, saying the school is in crisis and the TDSB isn't doing enough. A warning first, the story contains disturbing videos of violence. There were three overdoses uh, in the school in September. Uh, thankfully, all three children are teenagers are okay. Students are scared of walking the halls of York Memorial. According to the adults who work there, teachers and admin also don't feel safe. Some of the reasons why captured on video provided to City News. A crowd of students surrounding a hallway brawl. A threat towards administrators as a group storms the office. Cheers as two students are forced to participate in a fist fight. Employees say they've also been victims of assaults and death threats, including during a recent riot involving between 60 to 80 students. They were storming the main office. They were fighting in the hallways. A young staff member uh, did get assaulted, uh, got hit in the head twice. Um, when she was just trying to help, another staff member was swarmed. The workers say police are called to the school two to three times a week. This morning, a police cruiser was parked on the property. The grand majority of our students are the best students in the city. This is a small number of students who are hijacking everyone's learning and teaching environment. On October 31st, 14 teachers refused to enter the school due to safety concerns. They say since September, several staff have gone on leave. The teachers union says this is an unprecedented situation. The students of the school and the staff of the school have been absolutely abandoned and neglected. In a crisis situation, there will be, there will be a, an absolute tragedy. Staff say although the superintendent and school board are aware, not much has been done. The TDSB says they're working with the Ministry of Labor and Toronto Police to address staff safety concerns and quote, while the majority of these concerns have been addressed, we will continue to work closely with any staff, student or parent to address any future challenges and concerns. In the meantime, we believe York Memorial CI continues to be a safe, welcoming school and we have brought in additional staff to help support this newly forming school community. Staff say that's incorrect and this underserved school community, which was displaced by a fire at York Memorial back in 2019, deserves better. It's just mind-boggling that we do not receive any support. And in fact, we're traumatized by all of this on top of everything, but we can't show that trauma to our students because they're already experiencing enough of this environment. Ontario's Ministry of Labor says they were informed of the work refusal on November 8th. A spokesperson confirms an investigation has started, but they're not confirming any specifics. There's more to the story on our website, toronto.citynews.ca. In front of York Memorial CI, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.